Yo, what's up, Lion? Yo, what's up, Crazy Friday? Marcel, Olympus, greetings, everybody. Going to copper. Unless we get there in this spot just like stinks, we're gonna go chill at copper for a bit. Stone man, what's up? Addy, welcome back. Yo, is that a thing now? Are people doing that now? Is that a thing now, Stone Man? Gotcha. All right, let's figure out what we're, uh, oh, is this like, hmm, I've already got the right thing. Okay, so let's see, the, it looks like, oh, wait. Oh my goodness, guys, we've already got the exact setup. This is crazy. So this is the exact same setup that I used last time I fished copper. Let's just make sure we have all the um, backup PVA, I mean, uh, yeah, PVA stuff. Albert Mini 2. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. Three, four, seven. We can uh, just guess, I guess, restock on three and four and seven. And then halibut oil. Yep. Extra halibut four. Oh, that's the one I haven't looked at. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try copper on halibut. Uh, I'm going to try this um, 47, 44, 16 clip meters, uh, 16 meter clip part point. I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't fished anywhere in a while, actually. Um, so I'm very out of touch. It's been uh, kind of a crazy busy week, but uh, I saw this spot and thought like, hey, let's start there and see how it goes. Somebody called a nice tuna trophy, wow. Uh, I don't know, Black Current might be working even better. I just saw this one coast, I mean this one, this one spot, uh, where is it, like here? Yeah, it's here. And it looks like we're aiming, oh yeah, I've fished here before. I don't know if I've always done 16 meter clip. I mean, what are we supposed to be catching here? I don't mind setting up a comp if y'all want a comp. We're supposed to be catching, um, so dinks is possible, orangey is possible, the the koi with the like slight blue dots on top is possible. Super freaks. It looks like a lot of fish. I just recently, like I don't always trust these posts. So 
you know, we'll see. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I won't, I'll believe it when I see it on this spot. So, like, I'm not even confident on what we would comp for here unless someone else has actually confirmed what the fishing is like here. Yo, Captain Malone, thanks for the sub. I really appreciate that. How about that legendary singing fish, Marcel? That's, that's a heck of a start. That's a heck of a start. I haven't even thought about what are we going to give the winner today? Of the um, lurk bait. Let's do some, let's do some alcohol. All right. Whoever wins gets, which alcohol do I want to give away? All right. I'll give five portions to vodka tongue of vodka tungus for whoever wins. So hopefully y'all can help me remember five five portions of vodka tungus whoever wins lurk bait today so let's see let's see if this if this spot seems legit or not tuba's been super active <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm preparing for prohibition. In case prohibition comes back, we're going to be ready. Now, the thing is, I've been collecting alcohol since I started playing this game and never remember to use it for big for trophies or fish or whatever, so it's like a one one way direction relationship. It only comes into the inventory and never leaves the inventory. All right, so if I go to Copper VK, let's see what other post people are posting about Copper. Or I'll try sp spot sharing on uh, on Discord, maybe. I'm just curious what people are doing. Ooh, this, this looks interesting. 5750, look at all those koi. And F1s, okay, this might be better. So is this black current? Nope, this is what actually what I'm using. So 5750 clip eight, that's like right towards closer to base that actually looks pretty good two hours ago i mean that's the same baits i'm using now all right here's a black current post trophy funny tinch and this is at the um yeah this is at the this is at the bucket i mean i don't know what the bite rate's like because there's such a small sample size they posted but Here's another bit bucket, uh, bucket post. They got a black carp, but they got a trophy, a trophy F1 and a trophy gibble. I don't know. We'll see. At least we've got three different spots we can play around with. See if any of them are worth fishing. All right, so that is a dinks. That's one of the fish we were expecting to supposedly catch. Uh, right now I'm doing halibut and king crab. And I think this is a super freak. So those are two of the fish that the person 
advertising this spot did say that we would catch. That's a nice super freak. That's a 10 kilo super freak right there. So, I mean, we could just go based on that. We could just do a comp for Dink's mirror and super freak and honestly, the next one would probably be orangey. I know that's a weird combination, but I'm thinking that this might, um, this might be like legit enough that we could just go for it. So we're going to go super freak. We're going to go orangey and in the middle, we're going to go dinks mirror. If anybody would like to join a fun for fun comp just for funsy comps, we're going to do 10 silver in case, you know, the winner wants to take home a few pennies. All right. M dog is a password as in M D A W G lowercase. Let's see here. Hopper comp password equals M dog. Pin it up. All right, we'll start in like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, I'm at clip fifth, uh, 16 right now, Cubat. I'm at 16. You call the super freak Rick James? Yeah. <laughs> it reminds you of his song. That's a good call. That's a good call. I always think about their mohawk. Like, to me, just that just reminds me of like a, a, a short mohawk. Punk carp. There you go. I like it. Yeah, I hope this keeps up. What I'm what I'm liking about this is we're actually getting some decent size right now. So hopefully this will keep up. All right, aerodynamics. I will send you some coffee there, Addy. All right, how many people we got? Just two of us. Anybody else want to join the comp? See, what time do we want to start this thing? Let's start this thing at 11 a.m. We'll do 11 a.m. So there's, there's a third person logging in now. Sounds good. Um, I'm actually using 18s, yeah. But let me see if that's right. I actually didn't confirm. That might not be right. No, they're using 14s. So I guess if you want to go for size, yeah, you could do 18s. But this person that had such a good hour of fishing, I'm going to switch my other two rods to 14s. I'd rather lean into bite rate at copper. Although to win this comp, you might want to have on 18s on one, I guess. 16 cast is what I'm doing. 16 meter cast. And cast like right at west, basically. Kind of towards that bigger tree over there. That's a nice dinks, though. All right, so... I don't know. As I catch fish... Oh, these are already... Four, it's crazy, y'all. Like, last time I fished copper, this is exactly what I did, apparently. I had one at 18 and one two at 14, so... That'll work. All right, let's get um, let's get that coffee to Addy. <laughs> Imagine if I had eaten a carrot first. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Okay. We're up to nine people. I tell you what, I could log in and get um, cozy over here too, or get cozy somewhere. Maybe I'll use, uh, maybe I'll test a different spot on cozy, but still enter the comp. What did I say? 11 a.m.? Yeah, we got time. Start this thing at 11 a.m. All right, first fish on 14. Uh, on that rod, at least, was pretty small. Yo, no problem. All right. Let me figure out where this other spot, be reminded where this other spot was. All right, 5750 clip eight. Fifty seven fifty clip eight and yeah, we'll see how this goes. No, no, I don't mind showing PVA. This is the same one that they are using on um, on uh, Discord. I mean, on uh, VK. No, this is different. Take, I take that back. So what I'm using has amino in it. They had all halibut, honestly. Yeah, 16 clip. 16 clip where I'm fishing right now. Yeah, so if I make another stack of PVA, which I should have to, I'll be doing um, all halibut probably. Join, yes. M dog. All right. Now, Cozy, of course, doesn't have PVA yet, but we'll try it with ground bait. 5750 clip eight. So I'm going to be using the halibut stuff. I think on cozy, but we're going to be using it with, um, some sort of ground bait. All right. 5750 is right here. Clip eight. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is classic hair rig, and we're going with pellets and sinking boilies, halibut 14. Oh, wait, this is actually double pellets, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing double pellets. Um, all right, so king crab 14, halibut 14, spicy... Uh-oh. I need to go get some. Okay. That's weird. How much time do I have? Not much. We should be fine, though. I'll start it at 11 a.m. either way. If you're wanting to join the comp, this is your last call to jump in. Last call. Yo, I don't know about those condom ads. All right, everybody have fun.
Okay. So I've got Cozy at 57.50 clip 8. And of course, I'm here on my main account at 47.44 clip 16. And um, the comp is going. The comp has begun. All right, there's a mirror. So my first fish of the comp is also a Dink's mirror, although it's not as big as the one that Jail just caught. Not sure if I was going to cast that far enough. There we go. Exactly four kilo Dink's mirror. Yeah, so the next PVA I'm going to use, and the one that I would use if I um, if I had made it for this for this time, would be all halibut. So I would I would go mini four, and then extra. Sorry, mini two, extra four, and then regular four regular seven and halibut the only thing is a little different is got that brand base now the one thing you could do and this would be a little extra spicy here is even though it is copper you could go ahead and turn it into a 20 gram Might be fine. C2, very small C2, but we do have a C2. Crapu got a small C2. Cubat got a Dink's mirror. So the right fish are coming out. Uh, and I and I'm be curious to see like how how rare will the oranges be? Is it going to be one of those situations where like the first person to get an orangey above five kilo wins or will a lot of people have decent orangies? Oh, look at there. He heard me calling his name and he's like, don't worry, we're coming. Orangies are here. Orangies are coming. Don't sweat it. Mm. So five shots of uh, Tunguska vodka. Let's see what the uh, early leaderboards looking like here on Lurk Bait. What what comp will be next? I don't know. See, I'm not going to stream like super long today. So, like, if this is going well, I may just do another hour or so, another comp even here at Copper, and switch to Bucket and try, uh, look at that treasure chest, I forgot about that, and try like black current stuff, or I don't know, something like that. All right, so mole fin. Wait. I'm sorry. Did this reset like it's supposed to? I mean, is Kelly even here? Like, this is supposed to... This is supposed to reset every time we start a stream. I don't know what to do, y'all. Did it not reset?
This isn't just from today, is it? Like there's hardly any difference in this and all time. Oh crap. What do we do guys? Do I just reset it now? That's not fair either. Just let it go this time or what? What are you saying, Marcel? Next stream. You know, next stream restart it. Yeah, 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 that's fair. I guess what we can do is, I don't know if this will work out, but I will try to make it work. We can try to see who is the top player on the leaderboard who's actually here at the end of the stream. And, you know, if Molfin shows up, then, you know, probably nobody's going to catch Molfin. I, I don't know. We'll We'll figure it out. But, yeah, we'll just... All right, I don't know. We'll just let it ride. It is what it is. There's not, there's not an easy way for me to necessarily get like a read on the, um, the person who would get the prize I was going to hand, I was going to send today. So I don't know. It is what it is. Just do the best we can. <laughs> 900 more trolleys. Yeah, trolleys. Yeah, that's right. All right. Who's actually winning our RF4 comp? Ooh. Oh, because there's only been the one orangey so far? Yeah, I'll tell you what the difference is, though. I was here probably longer than anyone else, and so my PVA has had a more of a chance to sit in the water, maybe. Um, how long have I been fishing here though? 21 minutes. There's no way we're going to do as good as the person who posted this spot. Like this, this is actually pretty slow compared to what they said. Now, you've had three Narumu Asagis in a row? Wow. 
Now, we'll say without PVA at 5750, um, Cozy Dog's catching next to nothing. I mean, really, it's like, it's torture over there. I think I have one common roach. So I don't think 5750 is doing any better, although, you know, again, it's ground bait, no PVA. Yeah, Bubble Case, that's a nice super freak for sure. That's third place with one fish for you, Bubble Case. <laughs> Cozy dog. Uh, Cozy dog has one common roach so far. Cozy dog needs to move to bucket on black current when this comp is over. See if that's any better. Just get some like gibble gibble crucians if nothing else. You've caught one fish so far. Yeah, unfortunately this spot has proven to be not as not as good as we were hoping. Not as good as we were hoping it looks like. Let's see. Man, tuba is going off. Look at all those short heads, sterlet, roach. Is this all at the same spot? Clip 15 at 51.85 on boilies nonetheless. Oh man. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Maybe we'll go to tuba. Maybe we'll spend the next hour at tuba. That looks really good. Whoever said that about tuba, I think you're right. Again, if that's an accurate portrayal of that spot, that's pretty sick. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do for Norway fishing today only because I do it a lot. I mean, I love fishing Norway. I just, I'm not going to be on that long today. So I think I'll maybe do that next time. Hello to you. All right, this Romania dude YouTube video saying he caught Trophy Tench, Trophy F1, and Trophy Gibble. Now, I don't know how long it was. Probably a long time. He's got 100 fish in his net. We'll see where he's fishing at, though. 67.59 on Black Current. 
And he's showing no PVA at least. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what he's showing. Sixty seven fifty nine. That's like over around like right I mean it's basically bucket, right? So I wonder what clip he's using. I feel like most people there are using um like nine or ten clip, right? Uh yes, it's an eight clip. Fifty seven fifty purchase an eight clip. So black current wasn't bad at bucket. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to switch I think I'm actually gonna switch cozy to that spot. Um let me see if I have any black current ground bait I could just send Cozy instead of having to go try to make something. Because Cozy can now make all types of okay, there's nothing. Alright, I'm I'm moving Cozy. This this is awful. This spot. This 5750 spot, if you don't have PVA at least, is just terrible right now. On the on the halibut crab stuff. I'm gonna Cozy's gonna make some uh ground bait and then just go fish at that um at that uh, bucket spot. What do y'all think's the best natural bait to use at, uh, at at copper right now? Cause I'm still trying to figure out like my favorite natural bait to have on the second rod so that I'm getting ground bait in and out of the water a lot. And I'd like it to be something with like a pretty good bite rate. Um, it's okay if it catches good fish, it's kind of okay if it doesn't in some ways, but what do y'all think? All right, let's go black current. I think there's, isn't there enough black current PV, uh, ground bait stuff just to, all right, so we've got five, we've got eight, and, oh, that's kind of it, isn't it? Oh, that's right, because that's why we put either like Nordic Esterberry or, Hmm, what else? Potato, Nightcrawler, Honey. Yeah, I'm using Honey Dough right now over there. You had it on Cocoa Cream. Oh, interesting. 57.50. Okay. Maybe I'm not using the right bait at 57.50. But I want to try this black current thing. I just got to decide what other bait, what other, what I want to have on there. So if we're gonna use honey dough, we could do something with like something that kind of goes with the honey dough. If we're gonna use that on our um, second rod, we could crush up. That's true. We could just crush up boilies. That might be the safest play. Let's just do that. Let's actually just um, Let's just get some black, some cheap black currant boilies and crush them up. Tinch is better at reduced temp. Oh, interesting. Right, there's the five kilo orangey I was talking about. Okay, so. Do I even have the um, the ground bait crusher? But I don't. How much is that? Let me see if I can afford that on Cozy. We need to get one of those things that crushes up the ground bait. As long as it's not expensive. If it's, if it's expensive, we want to go to where... Oh, it may not even be sold here, huh? All right, where can I travel to for free? Well, like Mosquito. We need, we need to be able to crush up boilies on... Um, Five to six hundred. Okay, we need to be able to crush up boilies on uh, on cozy. I think it's in the like. It's not in the tackle store. It's in the other place, right? Hardware. Yeah, I think it's in hardware. Still a lot of time left in this comp, and 
once we get to morning, that's when the best fish are likely to come out. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but. All right, I came to Mosquito. We're going to check the hardware here. See if they have it. Oh, they don't have it. It's out of stock at Mosquito. Okay. Let's go check winding. It was in the hardware store, though. It was just out of stock. All right, maybe cheapest black current. Well, there's some 12s. And there's some tens. And then we're going to fish with black currant corn. What do y'all think? Purple? It's probably purple, right? I think most people are using purple right now. Getting a little, uh, it's getting a little uncomfortable with this weather. a friend yeah I like it perch I do think for like a slight upcharge I think you should be able to order anything in the game no matter where you are and have it sent to you within a certain amount of time I totally think that would be a fun little option you know maybe you have to pay slightly like you got to pay at the higher price point and you get a little bit of a charge or something oh man they're out at winding too all right, so when this happens, I think the answer is you just go to Volkov. You know, it's only 15 silver. Yeah, I think they could do it. You know, they could do okay. I mean, you get a little get a little uh, spicy here. You could have a very very cheap gold price for non-premium and premium you waive the gold price. And yeah, then it's just like the upgraded silver amount as if it was the most expensive store or whatever. That'd be a little spicy. I, I think anytime they can find ways to put value on premium, that only helps that only helps their cause, I think. I think you want people that spend a lot of time playing this game. You want them constantly being like, oh man, there's such good value. When I can, I want to keep premium going. And you were right, $449, uh, 449 silver basically for a bait grinder. So now we are crushing boilies, black current 10 and black current 14 boilies. Love to see it. Fish are waking up a little bit. Man, those blue, those dark blue, black, black current crushed up boilies, they look yummy. I'd eat them. Put some milk on them or something. Just looks like a really good bowl of cereal. Corey always has stuff in stock. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's where you're ordering it from. That expensive Corey store that's always got stuff in stock. All right, we're going uh, copper, copper black here. Copper black. And we're going to put corn flour. And then we're going to go black current 10, black current 12, black current feed pellets 5, black current feed pellets 8. And for attractant, we're going to put black current. And we have got some sick copper black ground bait made up. 
that at bucket spot is going to absolutely crush. Corey delivery service. I mean, what else do they have to do? They're just like sitting around. They haven't had customers in years. I mean, they would kill for the chance to start like getting some online orders or something. At a black market sold by employee behind the tackle shop. That would be funny if there was like this secret corner of the, of the town in like Tunguska or something. Get those black current like so black market really expensive but you can get stuff no matter the level okay that means you can't put it in tunguska though black market seedy corner of volkov maybe like behind where those like satellite stores are in volkov some guy in a trench coat he'll sell you anything you want no matter your player level no level requirements but it's like 300 percent upgraded price or something what's up flower power doing well how are you four thousand silver for a chafer yeah steelhead i think you're on to something this is a good idea this is a good idea this needs to go in the suggestion the suggestion place on the forums Okay. This was like the most expensive ground bait ever because I had to buy the thing to crush up bait. Crack open the castle door at Volkov. There you go, zombie. In Romania, in the 80s, we had shoe cleaners in the produce market, and while cleaning your shoes, they would open up a box where you can find cheap fragrances, cigarettes, foreign alcohol, all kinds of mixed stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, we need that guy hanging out at Volkov. Fits the Slavic theme. The bear cub at Yama sh should sell bear claw donuts. <laughs> it's like... We just went into some like kind of animated <laughs> fever dream. The bear club, <laughs> the bear cub is selling us things all of a sudden. Oh man, we just took a left turn and I don't know that we can get it back. I accidentally left that spicy halibut dip on top of that black currant corn. We'll see how that works. I need to get rid of all these. Um, all these. Uh, I still got some of these ground baits from when I was leveling up ground bait. I need to throw all that mess away. That is that is weighing down my inventory over here. Wasting some time on PC after a day of work. Sounds good, Flower Power. I meet the bears at Yama first day when map was out. Always avoid since. Chopper door was closed. All right, let me go update my son on some of these uh, 
put all scores real quick. All right, let's see um let's see how we're doing here. We'll see how the comp's doing. All right. So Bubble Case is now in first place with a 4.3 orangey, that really nice 10 kilo super freak, and a 19.2 dinks. Wow. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. That sounds like a pretty nice combination of fish there. Talk to the bear club. He increases your trophy chance. <laughs> so is it the mama bear that swipes you back to spawn? She swipes you, baby bear helps you. There you go.
Yo, Matt, thanks for the tier one sub. Six months of support. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a salmon on me. I am doing well. How are you doing, Matt? I am good. I'm just busy and all kinds of stuff going on with family. Glad I got to get a stream in here early because we're going to uh, get some food truck food this afternoon and watch some soccer. So it's sometimes these days it's hard to find the free moments, but uh, found one today and very grateful. It's just too slow. The bite rate's too slow. I don't know what I've got here on Cozy, but it's like pushing me in the red on Honeydew. Probably just a really good size common or something. What do we have on Honeydew that's just destroying us? Now, this is like Notora 6000. Oh, no, it's my fault. Holy cow. Let me check the other line. Did we have it on this too? Uh, no, this one's... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is my fault. I left... I left like... Oh, gosh. Okay. Unbelievable. So last time I was fishing on Cozy, I guess for some reason I put smaller leaders on there and I didn't check it. Anyway, I just popped one leader and then the other one is screaming at me. That's my fault though. No wonder something's like spooling us. We've got like a nine kilo leader on there. Whatever it is, probably not even that big, but. <sighs> yeah, we lost one hook and, you know, we're hooked into a something that's way too big for a nine kilo liter on the other line. Still trying to save silver for my first Vinga. You're 3,000 in. Where are you fishing at, Matt? You at the sea? Or are you at copper? Where you been trying to get your silver? C? Okay. Well, C's way more consistent silver here recently anyway, so um, I think that's the place to be right now for, for silver, probably. Yeah, we're halfway spooled. Do I care about getting this fish in? Because if I do, I'm going to start going around the lake a little bit. It's probably just like a 10 kilo fish or something, and it's just taking us for a ride. I go to camp, I'll be fine though. Still using a 60 kilo setup for C. I mean, that's really all you need, right? 
at least for making money purposes. You haven't been on it for like two days, gotcha. Yeah, I haven't fished much the last couple days either. You don't burn yourself out. Yeah, I hear you. And it's kind of the opposite for me. What happens to me sometimes is when I get this busy. Oh, I'm out of PVA. That's all right. We'll switch it next time. When I get this busy and I don't get to play much, I just feel so disconnected. It actually like it becomes a barrier to feeling like, oh, man. Like, do I want to get on where, where if I'm playing a lot and I kind of feel like I know what's going on or whatever, then even if I just have a short amount of time, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's jump on. Like, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm going to do. I've got a plan. Somehow it gets overwhelming for me when I've like had a busy few days or just not had the headspace to keep up with stuff. Captain Malone's ahead of me now, too, with just two fish. But it's 4.40 in the morning. I mean, some good fish should be coming in here to someone. This is the time. Which also means we need to move over this other... It's over other PVA. Man, Florida is now up 21 to 7. Oh, yeah, Buffaloes, yeah. I think when this comp's over, I'm going to spend the second half of the stream at Tuba just see if we can see if we can recreate what some people have been able to do at Tuba lately on those uh, short heads and whatever else is coming out in that spot. It looks like it at least it looks like a pretty fun bite rate and uh if there's a chance of sterlet and short heads that's a pretty cool combo you have a venga now there you go Yeah, I mean, if I was at Old Berg right now, I would swear this was a grass carp. But we're at copper, and I guess this is just what it feels like when you're using... Basically, it's like if I was using a Sabre 60, right? Like a 9.1 kilo liter. Totally, Matt. I agree with that. I got to be in the right mood to go to Amber these days for some reason. Kind of just big and overwhelming. Um, not on purpose, though, Perch. On, on Cozy, on my other account, I um, accidentally still had a 9 kilo liter on there on Honey Dough. And I've just hooked into something big enough to make it just really miserable.
Well, you know, a lot of what I've seen people posting at Amber re recently is that 83, 145 spot, but they're using huge boilies. And like, yeah, that can be fun because of your percentage of trophies, but you can also go through an hour and not catch more than one or two fish. So <clears throat> even if you have PVA, so like you got to know what you're getting into on, on that spot. I definitely think in general, it's more fun to fish at Amber when you've got something that's a good bite rate, not something that where you're just trying to like sit on trophies or something. That's a decent super freak. I don't know if it's, it's probably bigger than whatever else I've had. Yeah, it's 14.6. We'll take that for sure. One fish in the net perch? Isn't that so weird? So it's amber for me. Yeah. Yeah, that just doesn't make sense. That is some bad RNG. Wait, you've had you've had bad RNG on copper since since copper came out? Last time you were on Amber, it was white chocolate era. What? Yeah, that's crazy, Perch. All right, we need this to be a good fish, by the way. Okay. That is not the fish we're after. Welcome back. The blue reel? Oops. You talking the azimuth blue or the admiral blue? The middle one? Yeah, those are azimuths. I think it would pop more if I even took to put a different colored line on there, maybe something that like contrasted it a little bit better, but yeah, I think they look good.
I think it's just going to be like a medium sized mirror cart phone cozy. Well, if you're curious, that was a 14 point something mirror carp that was causing all me all that trouble on, on Cozy. Yo, uh, Hellstorm, Hellstormo, greetings. Ooh, look at that Asagi. That's a pretty fish. Some Ozark Trail camo, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. Was this uh, at Mosquito or what, Mikey? Yo, what's up, Casavir? Mosquito. Does that complete your trophy card? Or do you still have Eyed or something else to go? I don't know about quality, but like the line that doesn't have the PVA on it anymore is actually probably the one that's getting the most bites. We've got what, just over an hour left? Cubat jumps into first place. 11 dinks. Oh, look at that super freak. And a nice five and a half kilo orangey. Wow. That's pretty cool. Eyed, Sleeper, and Frog. Uh, grinding for silver right now. Yeah, and that, that Frog one can be um, interesting too. Just like, I would definitely wait till there's a good Frog spot before you spend too much grinding away at, at that one. The Eyed is known as the tough one, the Eyed and the Perch. Sleeper shouldn't be too bad once you focus on it, but you never know. 
You never know as things change and adjust on a map what's going to suddenly be a hard trophy to find. Troll frogs all around, yeah. Wait, Cubat just got an even better orangey, or was that already? Maybe that is the one he had. I can't remember. I saw a video where they caught a, an eye trophy on the Crucian Gibble spot on Mosquito with Caramel. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ooh, an eyed trophy on Bleak. Interesting. Hey, good GG, everybody, but good job, Cubat, coming out with the victory. That's impressive that you that you were using are you kidding me right here at the end it's gonna do this that's impressive that you were um using bleak in the first place at, at mosquito i don't think i would have thought of that like to try to catch a nice eye on bleak Well, this this uh, this this dinks would have at least helped. I don't know that it would have propelled me anywhere, but it would have at least helped. Actually, I probably don't want to throw this stuff back in, do I? You saw a VK post and you had five bleaks. Took 30 minutes. Wow. Oh, crab and muscle soluble. Nice. Okay, that's cool. All right. Very cool. Very cool. I guess since the, um, <laughs> why is that going off like that? Look, it's just like, and we've created the perfect little, uh, you also had a Narumi with that. I don't know why this is like fascinating me, but it's kind of cool. Don't fully understand. Just the momentum of swinging back and forth, I guess, is. I don't know. It feels like it wouldn't. It will never stop, which is kind of cool. Uh, I've pretty much heading the wrong way. All right. Let's see if we can figure out this um, 
Yeah, I had like one F1 the whole time. Uh, we did have that one eyed though. Um, see if we can figure out this this tuba spot. Still 679 silver. I mean, that's not bad silver for an hour. It just wasn't as good as I thought it might be. But that's still crazy silver, actually. Now, I probably fished it just over an hour, but still, I mean, it's pretty good. I don't know, Cubat. I think that would be cool if they did. I mean, I think that about copper and bear. I just don't. I just don't know if that is uh, if that's their plan or not. All right, let me see if I can figure out where was it. It was under trophies. Let's see, here we go. All right. 5185 clip 15. So the first thing to figure out is where is 5185 at tuba. I can figure that out really fast using um, using rf4.info. So then we go to tuba and we punch in 5185. The perfect thing would be if it, we don't need a vote, but it's okay if we do. Oh, we totally do. Okay. 5185 is down. Basically, it is at C6 right here. C6. Does anyone know the price of cream dip? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, someone got a trophy frog, nice. All right, so C6 is where we're headed, but we need to make sure we've got the right setup, the right stuff, because it, uh, it does require a boat ride. So we will not be able to come back. Okay, we're going double sinking boily using mugga hooks. We're going, instead of double pellet, we're going double sinking boily. And we're going caviar tin. Look at these tiny boilies we're using. No wonder you're, we're catching like uh, roaches and stuff too, or whatever. And then crab and mussel soluble. And it's got to be the 15s, right? Three gram, yeah. And then crayfish dip. And, oh man, that... That PVA is, um, okay, it's basically this. It, it is short head, short headed to barbel, um, short headed barbel PVA. So we'll start off with that on there. We need a few more of the baits. That's basically the setup we're using. Um, so let's make sure we have enough in case the bite rate is really fire. We want to have at least a hundred baits, I would say. Crab and mussel. Which you can really never have too much crab and mussel soluble because you end up using that in a lot of spots in this game. Such a good bait, good boily. We want to get a little bit more crayfish dip and then let's make sure we're good on all of the parts of this PVA. Again, this is a very common PVA. Um, not just for, for short headed barbel. People use this PVA for sturgeon or catching stuff at Tunguska. Anyway, where there's a anywhere where there's a current and you're going for these types of fish, I would say you've got a pretty good chance of using something similar to this, if not this exactly. Then crab and mussel, crab and mussel um, attractant. 
All right, so that's what we're using. We've got plenty of baits. We've got the PVA. We know where we're headed. Let's get there. Yo, Yubica. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Um, Vraykar says bite rate's very slow right now. Yikes. That's not what I'm expecting. Yo, Casavir. All right, so where are we going? C6. So that means we stay right at the bend, right? Stay right at the bend. Excuse me. What am I fishing for? Well, we're hoping we're going to catch a trophy short headed barbel, a trophy roach, and a decent little sterlet. That's the hope. Yo, nice, Mikey. 40% feeder fishing at level 13. Wow. Oh, nice. Getting those trophy trophy roaches, leveling up your bottom fishing. Yeah, the roach here is definitely a bycatch, but if you catch a roach, it's, it's likely to be a decent one, or you hope it's going to. 51.85, so just around the corner, C6, correct? Isn't that what we said? C6, yeah. Okay, we're getting there. At least we can fish for something else for a little while instead of just being at copper the whole time since copper was really good but not like the most exciting fishing ever we'll see how this goes all right we're close enough now as soon as we can get off the boat we need to All right. Fifty one eighty five is right here, right? And it's clip fifteen. So we're just going straight straight out, I would guess. What are y'all are you aiming at the log over there? At the tree. Okay. I assume that's the same thing because there's no trees, right? All right. Uh, 
Um, Abby R10. Here we go. Yo, what's up, Ted? So what is at this spot? Supposedly short-headed barbel is the main thing. Uh, bycatch, roach, sterlet, who knows. But um, it's like, you know, trying to catch short-headed barbel on boilies, basically. I just thought we'd do something different for the last part of our stream. Are there wild carp here too? You want to do a comp? Okay. All right. If you want to do a comp here, though, we need to jump in quick because I'm, you know, I probably just got, probably just got just over, just over an hour here. Um, let's go maximum weight short headed barbel. We'll, we'll go one hour. Uh, we'll do 10 silver again. I know if like some of you may not be here yet, but if you want to do it, like jump in pretty quick. I'm going to start us at, I really actually probably need to start us at about 1830 at the latest. So like one in game hour from now. Yo, what's up Kelly? Greetings Cole. I will save after I get the cream dip. What, what is going on? 100 to 200 silver on Crucian Gibbles. Oh, heck yeah. Whoa, Kelly just got the treasure chest. Yikes. Kelly's uh, lurk bait R RNG is absolutely disgusting. You know? Passwords M dog, M D A W G, lowercase. I mean, what do you mean? What do I mean? Like, 
I feel like we've been over this before, Kelly. You may not have had the top catches, but your catch rate of five fish has tended to be like through the through the roof on points. You're like almost always at the top of the leaderboards. Yo, new record. That was nice. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Everybody ready? We ready to go? What's up, Goros? Good luck, have fun. Oh, sorry, Cole. Uh, thanks for joining, even though you weren't set up. We are here at C6 on Tuba. And I am at a 15 meter clip. And we're fishing with crawfish and um, soluble crab boilies. Hey, first fish Sterlet. I'm I'm good with that. I am completely okay with that. You bat one. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll see. I really will next time y'all try to remember to completely reset the leaderboard the next time I stream.
I, I can't really tell what's going on. Like I thought it was supposed to reset every time we um Oh, there we go. We're fishing in the wind in the snow, by the way. Um thought it was supposed to reset every time I started the stream, but it's like it feels like it's not doing that. Yo, watch chat. That's the first F1 trophy I've seen in a while. In a while. Woo. Come on, be a short head. This is a huge short headed if it's a short headed. <laughs> I think it's probably not though. Oh my lands. Wow. 12.3. That's a nice short head. Yo, that is so close to trophy. Right? All right, guys, I'm literally going to go get a second cup, second cup of coffee just so we can power through this final hour of the stream. You are the best. I'll be right back. Yes, sorry. The trophy was on Black Current at Bucket, if you're wor wondering about the F1 trophy at Copper. Black Current, corn, no PVA, just ground bait.
Yo, that middle rod. That middle rod's going off, huh? Oops. Where is this fish going? Took a hard left. Okay. I don't know, but I love the look of my like big boy carp rods. I think if we were having a cosmetic, uh, like a, 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 a style off or something, I mean, I think I'm easily in top three. You got the drip. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Iska, greetings. Trophy roach on. That's funny. That's funny. I love the old PC sound. What's your question? Yo, if you're still here, Hell Stormo, thanks for the follow. I don't know if I caught that or not. Uh, Klungy, thanks for the follow. Ma, M-A-J-N-D, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, guys. Guys and girls, I appreciate it. Should I mount my spiny dogfish trophy? Yes. I mean, no, 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 no. Don't do it for other people checking houses. Don't worry about that. You do it for you. If you're going to enjoy walking into your house and seeing a trophy spiny shark on the wall, then you do it. It's worth it. You'll make silver. Silver come and, comes and goes, right? But uh, spiny dogfish trophies, man, they're like, uh, they're a little rare. But if you don't care, if there's no point for you to want to go into your house every once in a while and see it, then don't do it. Don't do it for other people. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You know, it's just, it's just whether you care. Is there a reason to go into the house? Hey, that's a good question. Do you uh, get comfort back if you sit in your house? I feel like you should. Yeah, I can show you my setup. Hey, it's another Sterlet. I like it. Keep them coming. All right, here's a setup. Sell it. Oh, is that right, Fatal? You do? Okay, cool. Well, that's good. At least there's something in terms of like practical reasons to go in there. I lost my house squatters took it. That's pretty funny. We used to lift weights at the house. Uh, I miss those days. Yeah, no problem.
Yeah, always check your stinking... Always check your leaders before you cast it out. Even if you think you know what's on there, just make sure. My like, that's my advice of the day. All right, see ya, Mikey. Does house give me free travel? Yes. Yeah, so I have free travel to Norway. I have free travel, travel, travel to Corey. And we all have free travel to Mosquito. But that's a different different thing entirely. But yes, try, unlocking the house gives you free travel. This spot is good with spot. Uh, this spot is good with spot as well. Oh, okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, it doesn't take that many short-headed barbel and Sterlets to uh, make it at least a decent a decent silver experience. Holy cow. Now that uh, M dog left copper Co cozy's having a pretty good time there. <sighs> took that, uh, took that, that bad luck. M dog, bad luck off of copper and cozy's settling into a pretty decent little, uh, black current spot right now. All right, so some short-headed barbels are coming out. All right. Let this be a sterlet. That's a decent sterlet if it's a sterlet. We'll take short-headed too, though. Yeah, short-headed. We just don't want it to be a wild. We don't want this size to be a wild. That's a nice, another nice short-headed, honestly. Like, we're having a pretty good time right now. Might be a little slow during the day, but we're having a pretty good time right now. Yo, it's going good. How are you, Johnny? Glad you stopped by. Today was pretty decent at Norway. Oh, I bet. I mean, it sounds like you killed it at Norway, actually. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. Norway's definitely feels like the most consistent silver right now. But how about that, like, sneaky 700 silver we made at copper? It didn't feel that good, but it's like when you're getting those dinks... And a few koi, it's hard not to do well. Just kind of comes naturally. Uh, yeah, just at bucket spot. F copper, copper location 67, 58, clip 10 at bucket on black current. Greetings to you, Mo Candle. Yesterday, I bought myself Poseidon Ultra, and today I got 5K silver. Oh, nice. Show off my sweaty armpits. Uh, that's awesome. Ah, that's not what we want to see. That's not what we want to see. Now, if it's a good size wild, it's hard to beat a really nice size wild in terms of silver XP and fun. But small wilds, we don't want to see that. That's the only thing I was worried about with these, like, size 10 boilies. Yeah, I'm using clip, um, I'm using clip 15, Kelly. I've actually got the middle rod set up at 16 clip, but if you notice, I had to back away. Blue whale? I had to back away from the, from the water pretty far so i'm at i'm at uh whatever 15 16 15 yeah yo gum. what just happened that's the third overall fish of all time that's pretty cool it was a whale
Yo, there was a there was an F1 order, but there's not an F1 trophy order, right? No, there's not. Okay. 1.7. How much time we got? Just under a day. Yeah, so we're good. Five out of six fish have been pretty good. We've been here 18 minutes. Yeah, it's fairly slow, isn't it? Middle of the day will be slow too, but a few, uh, few moments every once in a while of excitement. There's your score today is 12.22. Oh, yeah, I know. It didn't reset, Kelly. That's what I said. Next time I stream, I'm going to try to hard reset it. Um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get the full reset for some reason. I thought it was supposed to reset, like, for the daily reset every time you started it up connected to a stream you know but it didn't yo cozy's at bucket cozy's at 67 58 67 50 yeah 67 58 i guess uh right at bucket at copper just a little 10 meter clip um Yo, did somebody just somebody just redeem something that I'm not used to? Uh, what do you want me to send you, Yubica? Were you serious? What you want? Yeah, I'm just using corn and dip, Yubica. That's right. Are you talking about PVA I'm using here on my main account? Because I'm not using PVA on the other one. Okay, I got you. All right, so is your in-game name Yubica as well? Can't remember. Probably not. Uh, let's see, did you put it on there? Okay, same. Okay, so Yubica031. All right, so this is the tuba PVA I'm using. And I also do need to probably, not just for now, but for future times, go ahead and make another. Go ahead and make, make another uh, bit of that. It's a pretty easy recipe. Um, tuba short head. Um, it goes, let's see, it goes rapeseed and chopped worm and then dried krill and clay. So if you're not if you're not fishing somewhere with a current, you might take the clay off. And I just can't remember like there's a pretty standard fourth ingredient that you might use if you're not using clay. Let's see krill, zebra, chopped worm. I can't remember what it is though. But like this same PVA recipe or very similar to this is good at, um, at at tuba and at I've used it at Tunguska a lot as well, honestly. Uh, 
Ooh, I already had. Okay, so you could do like crawfish feed pellets maybe. Might be another alternative. Something like that. All right, 4.26 in the morning, what'd we catch? Okay, at least it's not a non-marker this time. 6.7 wild, so we'll be okay with that. It looks like we've got a fish on the second line, uh, unless it's just loose. No, we do. It's something tiny. This has got to be a roach. This has to be a roach. Oh, it's just a bitty, little bitty sterlet. All right, we're good. Okay. You've had zero bites, Cole? So what would you do here, Cole, on match? Would you, um, would you make it drag on the bottom so you don't have to like re recast it every 10 seconds? Is that what you would do? I feel like that would be the play, right? Yes, okay. Point 0.5 meter longer, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I think bucket spot's pretty good on black current. I'm getting a decent mix of like tench and F1s. Unfortunately, there's also some mirror carp and common carp mixed in, but it's enough tension F1s. It seems decent. All right. I mean, if there's going to be like a really big short head. Don't you think it'll be pretty soon here before the day gets too warm? Kelly showed you a Don it's rough spot last night. You were, you were not expecting much. How did it turn out? But I fished it for three hours with 45 minute break in the middle and caught over 300 fish. Oh, wow. That seems great. A fish on all three rods within seconds. Twenty five donuts. Nice. undesirables Yo, what's up, Grumpy? I am doing well. How about you? Yo, Disco Colors, how's it going? Kind of in the middle, huh? 
doing sort of in the middle. Not great, but not bad. Having a uh, lukewarm day. Another six kilo wild cart. I mean, we're not complaining. It's not what we're after, but we're not complaining about that. Uh, you know, largest fish we've caught was a shorthead. So, so far, like you could do this with caliber HSVs. Now, this is a small sample size. Like you could still get absolutely blown out of the water if the wrong, uh, if the wrong wild carp hooked in or if a sturgeon got confused. I don't know. You could still get destroyed. I could, you know, I could see big heads going for these baits. I don't know how active they are around here, but there's some bad news bears out there, but you could do this on like caliber HSVs and be okay. Just until you're not now I'm more the bad side. Cause I just spilled water all over myself. Yikes. Uh oh, Barbel's coming in. Zoki just got an 8.5. This is the time. Somebody's going to crush it. This is the time. That's the spot I used a long time ago to level to 34. Yo, right here, Kelly? Is that what you're talking about? Do you still consider HSV the best buy for progression, considering that you can't use it at copper? I still think it's a great option for progression. I think it's still a good option, especially if you're not going to unlock copper early. Obviously, if you're unlocking if you're unlocking copper early, then that changes everything. But if you're waiting until you naturally get to copper, in other words, you're going to have amber before copper, and you're going through all of those spots leading up to it, then yeah, I, th I still think it's a good option for progression. I don't know about the best, but it's a dang good one. KC with a trophy roach. I wonder if KC is here or somewhere else. You leveled here with Sterlet and Shorthead Barbel. That's awesome. Yeah, they're pretty good XP, aren't they? And the silver's not bad either. And I would imagine like, at times, at least, they've probably been even better than they are right now. Oh, man. Instead of black currant, I accidentally bought black caviar dip. It's kind of weird. All right. Okay, it's another decent fish here. Uh, see what this sucker is. You're using night crawlers? Oh, cool. I've spent the least amount of time on short haired barbels of all the fish in the game. My first one was a blue tag. Holy cow, steelhead. That's crazy. Yo, what's up, KC? You are fishing here. 11.4. We'll take another nice one. We'll take another nice barbel. Same spot. Much better bite rate with colder weather. Is that right? Okay. See if we can get the right dip this time. It's 
like happy hour or something. All the fish are coming in at the same time. Well, that's not a roach. Look at that rod bend. Another short headed. 5.2. We'll take that. 10 hours fishing Netflix. That's awesome. 3,000 silver. A uh, little wild carp. I'm amazed that this spot can like sustain that long of fishing. It never like killed the spot, huh? Ooh, nice sterlet. 5.9 sterlet. Come on. I'm glad y'all sort of tempered my expectations. But with limited expectations, I've actually quite enjoyed this spot. It's been fun. Uh, much better bite rate. It was cold weather, 20 to 25 all the time. All right, we're in the final nine hours. Yubica just caught a couple back to back. Okay. Uh, what do we want this to be? <laughs> it's not quite as big as some of the other ones, but uh, it is a, oh, it's a wild carp. That's not what we want it to be, but that's fine. 7.8 wild carp. Oh, come on now. Oh, man, look at that. Hold on. Is there something we'd rather do? I don't know that there is. That is pretty slick. Pretty slick. Kill it with fire. I mean, we're just out here waiting for the photographer to show up. Honestly. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I wonder how this chair looks uh, with what we've got going on. I mean, it does have that gold in it. It's not the right gold, but not like the yellow, but uh, I don't know. It's all right. Yeah, I mean, just strictly for cosmetic reasons. I have a lot of fun with this rod pod. <laughs> the McLaren orange, yeah. You didn't know it had all those options. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh-oh.
Ubica just got the 13.2 trophy, huh? Man. Only trophy beats a trophy. Yo, ZP, welcome to the stream. I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, how much are those in silver? Johnny says about 10K. I think that's right. Did I catch a trophy? Uh, Ubica. Ubica 031. Just caught a short headed barbel trophy. Love to hear it, Cole. Hope it brings you much joy, much cosmetic joy. I mean, I've been dying to use my carp setups. Part of the reason why I came here to, to Tuba to do, actually fish this spot is because it, it was just like a couple days ago I decided to put this yellow line in these uh, black reels. And I was like, ooh, now I just got to find an excuse to use them. I love it, though. Yeah, me too, Cole. I agree. I agree with that. Uh, you're using 17. Oh, interesting. So I'm at 15 and 16. Maybe I need to push it a bit. Same, same with me, Cole. Barbel and Sterlet not exist in my game. Oh, that stinks. That's no fun. Uh, what reels? These are the, um, these are the uh, Megaras. These black Megara 80s. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought that yellow line really made them pop. I definitely like it. I thought about the green as well, and I think that would also look good, but I think I like the yellow, at least for now. I think it's just nice to have variety, honestly. I'd had white line on these setups for so long. Uh, it's just nice to do something a little different. Seventeen meter clip. Looks like it's bought on Timu. <laughs> yeah, the problem is if you buy it on Timu, you won't get it for like six months. Um, I think there's actually an in-game command to check your profile, isn't there? Hold on. Uh, no. Yeah, there is. For 10,000 channel rewards. Come on now. How long you been around? So you've only been following since June 2nd, 2024. Wonder how many channel points you have. Do you have enough? Got enough channel points for that? Yeah, first time is free. That's right. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that because there's a lot of people that haven't had a first time yet. Uh, now, I will, I, will, I will admit that there could come a time that I do a stream where like, we do a lot of looking at accounts. And obviously, we'd have to lower that price if we were going to do that. But Okay, same name as here. Let's check it out. Yeah, it was a special stream. stream. There you go, Kelly. There you go. All right, Ezka. Let's check out Ezka here. Level 41. I do wish I could remember. What's this picture from, by the way? 
I do wish I could remember like the last time I looked at it. Two one is very nice for forty one. Oh, six rare trophies. That's a lot, actually. All right, swordfish. Your your swordfish could literally eat my largest swordfish if it wanted to. Baltic sturgeon. Yeah, that's like one of those. That's one of those. Oops, I've hooked into a monster while trolling at Archie. Look at that float lake trout. Yeah, swordfish dominating your uh, dominating your uh, scoreboard here. I just wish it would say how much silver. That's one thing I wish they would change. If you're going to have the biggest amount of silver award or thing. Uh, so your highest rank is currently marine fishing. Makes sense. I think that's probably true for a lot of people who are reasonably high level but started playing the game within the last year or two trophy card oh you've actually got two trophy cards yeah you're doing good on some of those older oh man golden tench i'm starting to kind of see Kind of what types of fishing you're drawn most to although you are fairly well rounded there's just some maps you haven't spent as much time on yeah it's kind of the like uh first four trophies at copper when did you start playing look at that small redfish sculpin That's a nice wolf fish. You just caught that today, right? Oh, is that right, Cole? You started playing last December, okay. Very nice. That is very cool. Good job. All right, short head 3.2, and that is at the 17 meter clip. Another Sterlet. I'm impressed with how many Sterlet we've caught. I don't even know if you can say it's bycatch when you've had five of them. I mean, it's like, it's here, you know? Sterlet are here. Just under an hour and we've had five? We'll take it. What are we at, 46 minutes? Probably 300 silver? Maybe two, I'm, I'm, I'm grossly overestimating. 200 silver? I don't even know. I don't know. Some of us have been have been here for many, many years and don't have that progression. That's true. I have a ton of AFK hours with bottom stuff. Spinning in Norway is for silver. That makes sense. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Well, there's been some nice shore heads caught during this comp, that's for sure. That's so cool that we got to see a trophy during the comp, too. It's a good size, good sign. I don't do spinning at all, so it costs me a lot of challenges. Yeah, for sure. There's so much spinning in the game. Between trolling and then just regular spin fishing, that's a ton. All right, Florida's winning by two touchdowns, but it's closer than it was in the first half. Is Marshall hanging in there with Ohio State? No, not at all. It's a three touchdown game. That's why you quit on the tasks.
Belaya, you're missing the Chubb and Day. So Chubb feels actually both of those. Yeah, I don't blame you because that feels very doable. Chubb and Dace trophy trophies at Belaya feel like you've done much harder trophy cards, right? So that seems pretty doable. Just wait for the right time. You're trying to finish winding rivulet card? Yeah, me too, Kelly. Although I never actually go back and and actually try to do it, but it's frustrating that all I need is the zebra. And zebra is one of those like AFK throw algae in the water and I just don't have the like desire to do it. You need the same one, yeah. And there's been spots lately. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been some spots lately, but I don't know. I just don't I just don't get them. So, we'll see. There's a spot right now. Yeah, I'm sure. It's just hard. Like, you could go sit and AFK fish for zebras, or you could go do something fun, you know? Now, I think if I had more time at home, if, like, there wasn't so much going on right now, I would probably at least try it a little more often, but... When I have limited time, it's like, that's not what I want to do. Oh, yeah, it's a great day, Yubica. Oh, that's a good idea. While watching movies. Yeah, I like that. All right, quick bio break. Be right back. Three point five Sterlet once again. Yo, what's up, Mumbles? Is Cubat an OG RF four player? Yeah, Cubat's been around forever, right? <clears throat> that's how I feel. That's my uh that's what my gut instinct tells me.
Yo, see you, Johnny Brink. Thanks for stopping by. Is it bad that I'm level 23 and still chilling on Mosquito, just casually fishing? Heck no. I think that's great. I think you are embracing one of the most important concepts of enjoying this game. Do what seems fun. Feed up with a T. I love it. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know about cream. I haven't tried cream. Somebody was saying they did catch funny tench at uh, the 57 spot on cream. I've been using black currant at bucket and it's been decent, even just with like ground bait. It's not setting the world on fire, but I've had a trophy F1 and trophy, um, trophy gibble and it's been pretty decent. I don't know if anybody's been into it. Like, uh, I don't know why I'm enjoying it so much, but this, um, this TCG card game simulator game has actually been really fun for me. Uh, I don't know why. I also really have been enjoying Core Keeper. I just haven't had time to get back to it or haven't made time. Core Keeper is awesome though. And you can fish in Core Keeper. And then Cozy, I mean, uh, Chef RPG has also been fun. So kind of some cool distractions lately when I've had time to dip into them a little bit. All right, how are we doing on leaderboard here? There it is. So uh, to lurk bait fish, Nallery, you need to go to um, redeem your 300 channel points to fish. All the scooter. Oh no. <laughs> Last fish, a big headed carp. 
That's funny. So big heads are around, at least on a bycatch. All right, Ubica with the first place finish. 176 of our combined silver. Very nice. Did we just have two legendaries in a row? Is that what you're saying? Uh, legendary Manta Ray for Gunner. And alert legendary Joel the Sturgeon. There you go. Okay. Wow. Wowzers. All right. Just so y'all know, this stream is almost over. So we run the risk of not getting all the fish in here. A powder blue tang? That's a nice one, though. All right, nothing that we were catching there, unless you got crazy lucky on the wild carp trophy. Cafe's not doing anything for us. Oh, 800 silver. Okay, I, I way was underestimating. That's actually really good. We were exactly one hour, by the way. No trophies, 800 silver. Like, that's sick. For tuba? I mean, for anywhere. That's disgusting. That's so good. Joint Papa, hello. So one hour of fishing. Yeah, just look at those short heads. And Sterlet are always good too for XP and silver. So to have that many short heads, that's just good news. It's a good spot. That is a good spot. And it's hot. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, I guess you're if you know if what you're saying, like, imagine if the temperature was lower in this spot right now, right? Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm trying to just like delay for a second here so that you can get the last couple cast in because I am about to wrap it up. Wow, y'all. Holy moly. This spot it, this spot it, uh, this spot it, uh, copper is all right. And that's with ground bait. Get your black current out. Go fish at copper. Man. We're at, uh, 574 in less than an hour plus cafes. Pretty fun though. Haven't had F1 trophies in a while. So this has been cool. All right. I got to wrap it up. I'm glad we got a little bit of a stream in today, though. Thank you all for hanging out. It's always good to see you. I will try to be back as soon as I can. Like I said, things are just busy right now. But, you know, sometimes time time allows us to do it. So I will try to do it as soon as I can. Always good to see you. And uh, tight lines. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Nice chum salmon, by the way, GG. All right, catch y'all next time.